Did you know that as well as using username and password authentication in Firebase, you can now use phone number auth where a verified phone is enough to sign a user into your app? In this video, I'll show you exactly how you can do that on Android. You'll use the Firebase UI auth library that you can find at this URL. This open source library does all the heavy lifting for you, so you can focus on building your app and not the many different user flows that you might need to take into account when implementing auth. For example, when implementing phone number auth, there are a number of factors that you may need to consider. One of these is if the user has saved some phone numbers in Smart Lock and they want to choose one of them instead of entering it manually. Well, this scenario has been handled for you by the Firebase UI auth library. Before coding, the first thing that you'll need to do is have a Firebase project in the Firebase console. If you don't have one already, you can create one at this URL. Once you've done that, you need to go into the Authentication section and click on the Sign In Methods tab. You'll see a list of the various sign in methods, and on this list is Phone. Flip the Enable switch to On, and then click Save your app can now handle Firebase phone authentication. In the app itself, you can then follow the normal flow. First check to see if you've assigned in user already. And if you don't, you can use Firebase UI's Intent Builder to create a sign-in activity. The behavior of this activity is set based on the providers that you pass to it in the set available providers method. So for example, if I just want Google email and phone sign-in, I can configure it like this. This will present the sign-in activity with the configured services, as you can see here. When the user chooses sign-in with phone, they'll be asked to enter a phone number or to choose one. You aren't writing any code for this. It's all handled for you by Firebase UI. Once the number is entered, the process of verification will begin. And in this case, Firebase sends an SMS to that number containing a verification code. Android is capable of auto-verifying this code, so the user doesn't need to do anything. In a few moments, the phone will be verified and signed in. And now, if you look at your Firebase console, you'll see that the user is there. They have a Firebase ID, so they're a full Firebase user able to access data based on your security rules. And that's it. As you can see, it's really easy to implement phone authentication on Android using the Firebase UI libraries. You can learn more about it and download the sample app that I showed you at this link. You can also learn more about what you can do at Firebase at firebase.google.com. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more Firecasts, conference talks, and a whole lot more. I'll see you on there, and happy Firebasing.